Hi guys, Ian from the Football Boys team and today we are looking at hacks for wet and wild weather. We've got some tips and tricks for playing in wet and wintry conditions. Starting off, and we're looking at changing the studs from a firm ground to a soft ground. Now why would you do this? You'd do this if you had some boots you couldn't get in a soft ground. Especially some players don't like the anti pog so they go ahead and they do this with either standard FG boots or even the limited editions that don't come in SG. Now, I would recommend, if you want to do this, get somebody, a pro to do it, like Toots Boots. They will go ahead and they will take off some of the plastic studs and replace them with the metal studs. What you need is the thread inside as well to screw that into. So if you're gonna do this hack, go ahead, get some, a pro to do it. But it is a great idea for customizing boots that you wanna be able to use on soft ground that you can't because they normally are just FGs, like those special editions. All right, the next hack we're looking at is a really good one for cleaning off muddy boots when you've got like the fly net or the lace covers or the collars. So these are a pair of Phantom Visions and we're using the vacuum to take off that dried mud. If you try to wipe it off with a wet cloth, it just gets all muddy again and it all gets soaked through. The vacuum will just pull off all of the mud. It's fantastic, then you can wipe the upper clear. An excellent hack to try with your um, Ghost Lace cover on those Visions. Now the next ones we're looking at is adding waterproofer to boots. Now does that work? Now what you can do is you just spread on the upper. I'm gonna show you what happens when you spray a little bit of water on it. Look at that, the water is just pulling away. The problem is this is no good for leather boots because it's not gonna allow them to breathe or act as they should. This is what it looks like if you spray the normal water on. Most boots already have something to do this though, so you don't need to go ahead and add something like that. Now these are a pair of Furons that New Balance made and they had that kind of water um, repelling upper as well, which, we thought we'd try on the collar of the Predator 20s. So we've added just a little bit here, just to try and make the collar repel the water. And actually it does work a little bit, it's okay. But how wet is the collar gonna get? Not massively, so I don't really recommend it. All right, number four in our hacks is glove glue. This, you spray onto the palm of your glove and it just makes your contact between the glove and the ball a little bit more sticky. This is one of the very best hacks that you can do as a goalkeeper, you just do it before the game and it just gives that little bit of stickiness back to the latex of your glove. There's a link in the description if you wanna get yourself some of this stuff. It really does work very well indeed. One of my favorite hacks in this video. All right, moving on, we're gonna look at Crep Protect. Now, this is a rain and stain barrier. So, not only does it stop the rain getting your boots wet, but it also prevents mud from um, getting into the knit part of your boots. We're spraying it on the collar of these hypervenoms here and we're gonna throw a whole bunch of mud at them. And what we'll have a look at in the middle, in the minute, is to work out how easily it comes off. Does the mud actually get soaked in or can you just clean it off? Now, these type of venoms have gone a little bit brown, that's because they change color in the sunshine, and as the sun hits these, they'll go brown again, underneath their orange. But anyway, the main thing to do is look at the collar now, and it just came out clean straight away. So the Crypt Protect stopped the mud from sticking and staining the collar. Now we're looking at the different stud links that you can use. So normally you use 11 and 13s, but we're looking at adding, adding in the 15s and the 13s. And the extra hack part of this is pro players use 13s at the very front here, then they use 15s in the next row and then 15s at the back, which is different than what is recommended because usually you would go 13, 13, 15, and that extra little bit of length at the front means you get even better grip in that muddy conditions, but then having the shorter ones at the very front means that your foot isn't gonna stick so much. So we then go and put the longer ones in in that second position. And that's the pro hack part of this. But anyway, if you can, switch out the length of your studs. Here's the shorter studs in another boot. Switch it out, it makes a really big difference on those really muddy Sunday League pitches when you need the grip. All right, now we've got a little experiment here. We've got two identical boots. One is a leather boot though, and the other one is synthetic. And what we wanted to see is which one gains more water? Are you better wearing a leather boot or a synthetic boot in wet conditions? So we submerged both boots in the water. They are both concave halos and we filled them both completely with water and we weighed them before and we weighed them afterwards. And the question is which boot gained the most weight after we did that? Whichever one gained the least weight percentage wise is the best boot for wearing in wet conditions. 
And I can tell you that the synthetic boot did not gain as much as the leather, so you're better off wearing synthetic boots if it's a wet pitch. All right, let's have a look in this box. This is a special edition box that came from Mizuno. It has a special shoe care section to it. One of the things it comes with are these little shoe dryers. So they recommend you putting them in your boots. But the thing is, not everybody has a shoe dryer. So what else could you do if you don't have something like this? Obviously, these are great if you can use them. But what could you use instead of this? Absolutely simple, the cheapest hack in this video. Put some newspaper in your boots if they're wet, leave them overnight, and the next day that moisture will have been drawn out by the newspaper and it's really helped your boots dry out. It's gonna make your boots last a lot longer, they're not gonna smell so much if you can keep them as dry as possible. Talking about smelling so much, we're gonna try using the Stop'em Smelling Spray. So we've got the Predator 20s here, and we're just gonna try spraying a bit of that on the collar and um, the idea here is that the boots aren't going to get as stinky. Also, if your boots are stinky, then you can spray it on there as well. We decided to try putting it onto the inner sole because it says to turn your boots upside down and spray it into it. But with the collar boots, it's really hard to do that. So we felt like taking the inner sole out if you can and spraying it on there would be better. And hence, we thought this hack was okay, but it's not one of the best ones in the video. Now, so here we've got the Hot Hands insole foot warmers. And inside this packet are two sticky pads that you put on the bottom of your socks and you wear inside your boots. Now the thing is you can't wear these during games and you can't wear them running around. So you can only do it if you've got really cold feet, perhaps just to start off with. So we thought probably not best to actually wear on your foot at all. We considered whether you just stick it on the inner sole and then put them in there. The problem is you can only use them once and then they're done. Now the other thing that's available is Hot Hands um, toe warmers. So you just use them for your toes. And again, we considered putting those on the inner soles and putting them inside the boots as well. But again, they're single use and it just doesn't last long enough. And yes, they'll warm up a little bit, but there's a lot better ideas for getting your boots warm that can last a lot more than this. And we'll show you those later in the video. Now, one idea is if you do get cold feet when you're playing, if you're in a very cold country, maybe Canada, Finland, um, somewhere like that, then you could consider getting some special boots that are designed to keep your feet warmer. So no good in Australia. These are the Primer Loft. Uh, pack of Adidas boots and then Puma also made their version as well and the Puma version used the Thinsulate and both boots use the same idea it's just an extra bit of padding inside the boots to try and keep your feet warmer I really wouldn't recommend if you're playing anywhere above freezing almost because you just don't want your feet to get that warm but it's not too bad of a hack for those colder countries and it was available in the ones and the futures with the Pumas now this is a hack that we want to test it is trying to see how good is anti-clog against a standard sole plate so the anti-clog the idea here is the mud doesn't really stick to it so much with a standard sole plate it will stick and clump around it a little bit more the only thing is some pros feel like the anti-clog sole plate is a little bit heavy and not as flexible as a standard one but overall this is a pretty good hack especially for sunday league players and people playing on worse quality pitches now these are the seal skin sock and we wanted to try these out compared to a normal sock. These have a rubber lining inside and it means that they will repel the water. So on the left foot, you can see I've got a standard sock. On the right foot, I'm wearing the seal skins. And we're just gonna try this in the water. The thing I found though, is that it made the sock a lot thicker than a standard sock. It had a very rubbery feel to it. And I felt like I was gonna sweat inside the sock a lot more when I was running around. Yes, it protected me from the water, but overall, I really wouldn't recommend playing football in these kind of socks much better for going fishing or something like that now i was talking about better ways of keeping your boots warm and this is how to do it relatively cheaply and reusable as well you get an old sock you fill it with some rice and you tie a knot in it then take that and you put it in the microwave do it for about a minute or so you warm it up and when it comes out it's going to be nice and warm you can then just drop that into your boots and shake it down towards the toe area and it's going to keep your boots nice and warm until it's time to put them on so if you're having to leave them somewhere cold it's definitely going to bring them up to temperature nicely it takes a while for the rice to cool down so it's going to work out quite well and this is a lot better of idea than those uh, toe warmers or the inner soles to warm up your boots now another way of keeping your feet warm is to consider wearing double socks now some players actually do this um boatang used to do this um, maybe before the time of kind of true socks and boots like and sock alternatives like that but it's not too bad it will make your foot a lot um, bigger so if you want to make your boots last longer you could consider wearing that because then you can move up half a size here we are looking at the boot claw so 
The concept of this is half time, before kickoff, you can use it to scrape excess mud off your boots. It also has a um, stud key at the back as well, and it's pretty cheap and it's easy to carry around and it's really handy for just getting that excess mud off your boots really quickly. And we love the boot claw, think it's a great invention. So this hack involves using a candle and we're lighting it here, but that's just to show you that it's a candle. What we're actually gonna do is we're gonna put it out and then we're gonna take it out of its casing. And what we want to do is rub it against the collar of a pair of boots. So we're gonna use this pair of white superflies. And the concept is, is by rubbing the candle wax on there and then heating it, it will create a barrier to water. Now, you can't really see it on the white boots, but it does work and I'll show you an example of that. On one side it's on there, on the other side it isn't. So this is the side that it isn't there. And you can just see that it soaked in a little bit on the collar. And then on the other side it runs off better. It looks a lot better on these black vapors that we did it on, so I'll show you on those. And those ones you can clearly see it going from white to black. This is without it on there, it soaks in a bit. And in this one it has it on there and you can just see the water pouring off. So it's great for the knit and collar areas on boots. Another great little trick for having boots is if you've got leather boots, really make sure you care for them, look after that leather. You wanna put a bit of dubbing on there. You can just see the difference in the color of the upper on this pair. It just makes them feel so much better. The leather is a living material, so you wanna look after it, you wanna feed it, and the dubbing just does such a great job. You gotta look after your leather boots. Now, if your boots are stinking a bit, one concept that we've seen in a few hack videos is putting tea bags in there. The idea with the tea bags is it's supposed to be removing some of the odor and moisture in your boot. It will work a little bit like your newspaper and you leave them overnight and you come back, take them out again. It's okay. It's a bit of a waste of tea bags. I think you'd be better off by using newspaper instead. You don't necessarily need to go with the tea bags. All right, hack number 21 in this video. We've got 23 to look at. Number 21, we are looking at the Grip Star studs. These are special specific studs that you can change the height of and they dig into the ground a little bit sharper and more aggressively than you will get with the Nike or Adidas studs. They are match legal, they are being worn by pros and they just give you that little bit of extra grip and you can change the height of them depending on the conditions, which is the same as what we were talking about changing those Nike stud heights earlier on. But these are fantastic. They've got ones that work in Adidas boots and other ones that work in Nike boots and they are quite aggressive and very good for giving you that little bit of extra traction and pros are wearing them in matches across Europe. All right, hack number 22, and you may have seen this in the thumbnail. It's all about the difference of using a normal white match ball and using a fluorescent or colored match ball. Even in trainings, you wanna use like a fluoro ball ball. If it's getting a little bit dark where you're training, the ball is gonna stand out a lot better. You're gonna be able to pick it out better and it's just gonna be much better to play with. So use a bright colored ball where you can in winter. So the last hack we have is using a hose and all you do is blast the sole plate to try and get the mud off. It's a really great way of removing as much as possible and it saves you having to clean them too much. You can give them a little dry down afterwards, try not to make sure you get any water in the boot. Anyway guys, I want to know what your favourite hack was in this video. Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching. Go enjoy your football.